Hello, you all. It's Teacher Jenny here, waiting for a student who has never been late or missed a class. So, I don't know what that means. I don't know, since she's never been late, if the fact that she's not here means she's not going to come. <laughs> or what? So, I have my little camera off to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and use this time to create my video, because this is four days after my last one, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Um... still struggling with the high def camera. <laughs> it's getting a little bit better. I actually, my cameras in my classrooms look much better because they have a slight filter on them, but um, I think it didn't look as bad on YouTube. I didn't really pay that close attention. I mean, I yeah, so whatever. I clearly don't care that much. I'm not a YouTuber. Again, I just do this hoping that there's one person that relates to my journey and enjoys watching these um, as I would find a couple people that I enjoyed watching on YouTube um, who were very real about the struggle and they were constantly always losing weight and just doing phenomenally. So people who struggle on the journal, on the journal, on the journey, I struggle with speaking as well. <laughs> okay, so um, happy to be here. Am I though? <laughs> what was I not looking forward to doing this video today? Let's see. All right. Well, all right. So the plan was my weight actually went up last time. So I thought it looks like I'm definitely going to have to go no carbs. So, um, I didn't do that. What do I feel like I said last time I was definitely going to go no carbs and then I didn't do that. Hmm. A little confused about what I said last time. I should probably rewatch these videos. Nevertheless, let's just talk about what really happened. So, in the past four days, I was thinking, I think I was thinking about doing absolutely no carbs because the time before that, I had um, put on a little weight in the four days before that. So, I thought I really have to get rid of the carbs. Well, in the past um, four days, I still had chili mm, every day but one. Mm -hmm. And so here's the result. So in the past four days, I lost a total of three quarters of a pound. Okay, I lost 0.7 pounds in these past four days. So, which would be great, actually, to keep up on that same pattern. Um... I, here's what's interesting about it. Okay, so day number one, I lost a pound, no carbs. Okay, all I had were eggs and something else. So, she, oh no, no, I had that chicken dip with celery sticks. Okay, so zero carbs. Um, and then the next day, and lo and behold, I had chili, Another, the next day I had chili again, the next day I had chili again. No. So I had chili and chili. Those two days were plus 0.3, plus 0.1. Then the next day I had no chili at all. Lost 1.7. Yesterday I had some chili again because I ran out of the chicken dip and I was just too lazy to make a salad. <laughs> and the chili is now all in individual bowls in the refrigerator. So you just take it out and plop it in the refrigerator. It's so easy. Uh, it's turkey chili made also with bean burgers for the bean component. Okay, see prior videos if you're wondering why I'm using bean burgers. I'll be using bean burgers until the cows come home. Oh, I said that last time. That's funny. Twice in the past month, I said it on this channel. I'll be using bean burgers for a long time. I have lots of bean burgers in my freezer. Okay. Um, so today, when I got on the scale, it was minus zero. So it looks, based on the numbers in the chart and the data, as if every day that I have the chili with the beans in it, that I'm gaining weight the next day. 
but there is not a large enough sample size in this data to actually say that explicitly, and here's why. Um, first of all, if, when I lift one of those bowls of the bean chili, it is so heavy, like the actual physical weight of that chili is higher. Okay, but we know physical weight of food is not what makes you gain weight. It seems like it should be though, doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like there should be some sort of correlation? But it's not true. It's not true. Who's going to you know, eat some really heavy vegetables and meats and not gain weight and gain a ton of weight eating popcorn and cheese pops? And I don't know, there's all kinds of light food that's delicious. Ice cream's pretty heavy. So I think it's not that. Oh. What are the Swiss cake rolls? Oh, very light. Oh, that's so good. I haven't had those in forever. I need to get them. It's been maybe a year since I've been there. Those were my go-to dessert when I wanted to treat myself on something. Um, and they're usually what I want when I'm doing loading. But I'm too lazy to drive all the way to the grocery store to get them. And I have tried um, Walgreens and the gas station, which are the closest places that I can get any kind of food to my house. And uh, they don't carry them. They carry Ho-Ho's, Hostess brand, but a Ho-Ho doesn't taste nearly as good as a Little Debbie Swiss cake roll, which is great because Little Debbie Swiss cake rolls are half the price of a Ho-Ho. So some things in life just work out, right? That's what I'm learning. <laughs> um, so I haven't made that trip to go get them in a very long time. Um, and will loading be in my future? Yeah, it will once, once uh, this pandemic. I'll tell you what's definitely going to make me do HCG. If Cedar Point, the amusement park that is closest to my home, where I have season passes for, opens up this summer. I don't know if it is. They've already announced our season passes are good for all of next season already. So there's no motivation for them to really um, open up. But... And if they do, they're going to have to have more staff and, and let less people in, blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless, standing out in the sun all day when you know you're overweight doesn't feel good. The sweat, as it goes into rolls, <laughs> it's just a gross feeling. And then they have a water park, too. But I just think that, I mean, I find it easy to keep people six feet away in a water park, with the exception of the wave pool. If they don't open the wave pool, I don't know, you know, because you can mark where the lounge chairs can go, you know, or create cubes of these are all six feet apart. Um, they're going to have to let a lot less people in, though, again, and then probably keep the same number of staff. So it would be a huge financial, but I mean, I mean it's better than, I don't know. I, I'm sitting here talking about the logistics of whether Cedar Point should open or not. I really think they should. But anyway, um, yeah. I don't think there's a direct correlation, one, because of the actual weight of the food, and two, my body hadn't completely eliminated it. Eliminated it. So I got on the scale the morning after the day that I didn't have any bean burgers and lost 1.7 pounds. Co coinciding with that, I say coincidentally, and I guess that works too. Um, concurrently, <laughs> I had a bowel movement the day before. So there went all the heavy food. So I think there's something to that. I think I said in one of these I was going to research some of that. And, and I will. I'm going to start making myself a note. Different topics to research. I think I'm going to be on here a lot this summer. Okay. Topic number one, weight of food. Uh, all right. That's all I have to say today. So all in all, in the past four days, I'm down 0.7. You know, I'll take that. I'll take that. It, it makes me sad that of all those, I literally only had one day of weight loss. But I also had one day of no gain and no loss. <laughs> yeah. Going into this, 
I had my first no card day, and that was a one card loss too. I don't know if I can count that with this one because I think that was part of last video's conversation. So I really can't count that. But boy, if I look at this data, shh, it looks like I can't get that much in there anymore. Hmm. All right, so here's where we are. These four days, I'm not having any more Dean Chuck. I know I said that before. I don't know if I felt it in my heart. <laughs> I also didn't know if I really felt like it was really affecting it. And, and to be honest, based on what I just said, I still don't know if it's really affecting it. But um, this would be a nice experiment. Because I really, I mean, the numbers are high enough that I should be losing more than 0.7 in a, a four-day period of time. I think it's the volume of food I'm still eating. That's causing my problem. Um, here's the good news. I'm still getting on the treadmill for an hour every day. And most days, I'm doing my planks, my sit-ups, and my arm stuff. And by most, I just mean most. I almost always remember the planks. After the planks, I forget to flip over and do the crunches. Um, and then the weights are someplace else, so to go get the weights... Sometimes I forget that too. But then some mornings when I get up and I see the weights, I'll just do the arms in the morning before I even teach my classes at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I, I'm not, I don't have a chart to really keep track of it. Um, if I did, I would be probably doing a better job. But all in all, I feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger. I got myself up to a minute on the planks on my arms and the planks with my arms straight out. Um, and I was doing 60 crunches and 60 of the arms behind the head and 60 of the arms going back like this. Let me tell you, 60 of these with the two five pound weights behind your head, that's a struggle. That's a struggle. Um, but that's good. I mean, because I need it, right? Um, the treadmill is not much of a physical strain for me anymore, but... I want to keep it something that just sort of burns calories and something I'm still willing to do. An hour is a lot of time to dedicate to exercise. So if I'm not truly enjoying my exercise, I'm not going to do it. There's just no way. It takes, what, 60 seconds to do <laughs> the other exercises? And I'm still not really getting those in. So what? It would be five minutes. Five minutes of my day to do... The crunches, the planks, the planks, the arms behind the head, and the arms back like this. It's five minutes it would take me, and yet I frequently forget. Um, I don't. I've never intentionally said I don't feel like doing it. That's never happened. Um, okay, so that's all I have for today. We're gonna see in the next four days when I completely cut out the bean chili, which I will do. I did boil up some eggs. So I have a bowl of hard boiled eggs so that I can do my um, egg. It's good with crumbled bacon too, let me tell you. Mm. One of my favorite salads of all time. Honey mustard dressing, which is my favorite dressing. Um, with two cut up eggs inside of a huge vat, large bowl of romaine lettuce. Um, and then if I add some crumpled bacon to it too, and then you slice up a little bit of tomatoes. It really is like a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, minus the bread. Um, but I don't have the bacon, but that's okay. I mean, I can have it without the bacon in the salad. It's still good to me. Um, and I think I'll still, I'm not going to completely give up the corn. I don't see the corn being as much as a factor of a factor as the beans. So... I might sprinkle a little corn on it just to make it um, taste better. Or, you know, I feel like I do need to get to the grocery store soon, so I might pick up some bacon to put that in there. Because the bacon technically would be better than the corn in terms of the um, carb content. In terms of calories and fat, since I'm having plenty other fats in the chicken dip, I feel like I don't really need the bacon and the corn is a better option. So I don't know. Tomato, tomato. Which one's going to really be the best one? Since I'm really not truly doing um, 
That's another that's a question for myself, actually. Can you have corn when you're doing um, what's it called? Not intermittent fasting. Um, what is the diet that everyone does with intermittent fasting? That's essentially no carb. Uh, keto. Corn on keto. I'll write down. I'll look into that. All right. Well, that's all I have for today. Looks like my child's not coming because there's only a minute and a half left of class. So I'm going to go ahead and post this and uh, eliminate beans for the next four days. I, I said I was going to do that for these past four days, but I didn't. Okay, true professions, I didn't. Um, and I really didn't get any concrete data. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> really, if that was a good idea or not a good idea, I don't know. But nevertheless. It is what it is. I'll definitely do it for the next four days. I'll be back in touch with you and um, and let you know if uh, when we're going to start the HCG this summer. Um, if you want to do the HCG round with me, now's a good time to go ahead and get your drops or your injections, whatever, whatever it is you use or patches, um, and have them ready because if I know me, this is usually how HCG begins. I just dive right into it. Or I have a day where I completely fall off the wagon and then I go, okay, that was day one of HCG and I actually take the drops in the evening and don't do the full three doses. <laughs> um, and then do loading again the next day and then just call it that. Uh, which works for me because, you know, you, I don't really think you need a full two days of loading because, boy, you just, it's hard to do that. You just get so incredibly full. Um, I'm going to try to be a little more cognizant also of... Uh, food that I put in, how much I put in when I'm eating, because I'm eating really when I want to eat, not when I'm hungry. It's hard for me to wait for hunger, because I just enjoy food so much. I eat for pleasure. I don't eat to satisfy starvation. Up to you all, and I'll, um, I'll be in touch in four days. <laughs>